to those who want to know who or what Ivory is what it looks like, because I watched some YouTube videos saying that he's Ivory Boy or Girl, and I just want to clarify that Ivory is a 19 year old gay music bitch, meaning he is a guy. So, uh, yeah. You're welcome for that. Anyway, there's some more evidence against Ivory. And it's not looking too good. Random dude wanted to join in and to defend Pyrocynical. He thinks that he's innocent. And I think he also exposed Irie for be, being a fraud. So let's uh, go and read this. Which says, we know Ivory you tried to use Paris single to get e fame from these two videos. One of his ex friends posted in one of them. His friends talks about how Ivory was sending videos to Pyro so that he can help him get big. And in the other one, he sings about e fame very suspicious. Here are the videos. In my eyes, it's not just like, it's not like, oh, I'm trying to get his e-fame. More than anything, it's like, they, they, they just see somebody that they really like. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry if, if it offended you. It's just an no, expression no, no, no. about dick sucking, like... but... <sighs> Me and Lepervy, yes, stayed so fucking quiet I'm, all the I, time. Yo, I, yo, I heard there is a... Can you move us to I private? Oh, I up? don't want to sound complaint. Stop. I can't move people. Yo, know, what the fuck? But, uh... Okay, what I said was, we stayed so fucking quiet. Me and, and uh, Lepervy don't want to weird him out or some shit. Uh, I know. He, like talking, oh, can you check my video? Oh my god! And he goes, he goes like, yeah, I'm gonna check it afterwards. Will he? No. Will he check your music? He, maybe. I I can't think. He already did. Okay, he did. And you're probably gonna become famous. And have you noticed? Every, when he said good things about you, everyone started talking to you because they f probably know you're gonna get big. No, 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 like, it, it wasn't... Wait, everybody's mad at me? No, 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 just... No, 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 somebody said, why is everybody mad at you? Oh. After the videos were posted, I replied with this and immediately blocked Crass, providing that indeed I ring was has something to hide. And of course, I believe the random dude, because, and, uh, rightfully so, the next, the next part goes on, which says, at this point, we know Kraz is trustworthy, since he had provided us with a lot of evidence. I took this to DMs of him, and he told me that Ivory had lied about his age to Paris uncle, and also to some of his own friends. Nah, screenshots that he has 
is written here saying, I read this part of the really spicy ERP. Popular people on YouTube all know Pyro's fetishes, but people like Steyer, Rexo, Didn't, and Pressured Ivory to complain about them screwing him while knowing that he himself lied about his age to them. There is nothing new about this, only that some people are trying to expose him. Note that the ERP was not only the Pirate Single, but other no, notable people. They are just not mentioned yet. You should ask that to people who spoke and speak to him, he told me, and others, at some point that he was over the age of 18, but I don't have video proof of it. That's for sure. If I recorded all of my conversations like that, I would need a petabyte-sized drive. I would also like to point out how in November 25, 2017, a while after the alleged ERP between the two of them, I retweeted about wanting to meet Pyro. This doesn't line up with the with what I said about them being scared of him. And he pulls up a tweet from Ivory which says, sending my German pen pal alert demanding to see and talk to Pyra. Cynical. And then he goes on, saying, so yeah, I think that this is enough evidence to provide that he was in, in some way trying to benefit from Pyra. But even then, we don't even know if it's even the real pirate single to begin with, we've seen cases of multiple people trying to pretend to be other YouTubers in the past. There's some possibility to the fact that that is not the real Pyro, since Pyro didn't use his pirate single for his Discord name and instead used hello as shown in this video with Colossus Crazy and other YouTubers. There are only two possible outcomes from this. One, I relied about his age of how single to book up him and get e fame. Two, the guy talked about he talked to is not the real Pyro, and Pyro is innocent in both of these. He did not scream a minor. PD, if Pyro Single does not come out with his side of the story today, I'll make a video covering all this. Well, luckily enough, I think the person who accused Pyrocynico, named Ivory, should probably come up with an apology by now. And I think Pyro. needs to come out as soon as, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday, depending on when he's supposed to come out uh, with his side of the story. There's more about Ivory saying that Ivory was faking his age in the past when Ivory claimed to be 18 year old when he was actually 16 at the time. Ivory better come up with the truth now. But of course, shit gets weirder and weirder as. Another person 
has found that Ivory was 15. And by the way, again, Ivory is a guy, not her, not a girl. I know why some people are saying that's her in like total sense that they don't even know by looking at the profile at the uh at the uh, picture posted from October 9th. I know why some people can do that, but anyway, that appears to be a video of Daniel who tweeted this uh saying that Ivory happened to be 15 in 2016 at the time. But it still doesn't excuse Ivory for not handing out more evidence, real evidence that everyone can see. Because if it's a deleted user, then it should have remained with zero, zero, zero. But it has to have someone's actual Discord name to match with it, which is why Ivory did not have a screenshot of Hagro's Discord before Pirate Cynical supposedly deleted it. I mean, this is just really kind of stupid that Ivory would just go out of his way to get Cloud, even though he said that he wasn't going to get Cloud, as he said on his Twitch longer, which you can check the video I made about that from way earlier on. But to me, when I saw the tweet that he made to talk about Pyrocynical, I think he did get clout. And he knows that. He knows he got clout. He just doesn't want to admit it. In regards to Twitmonger, this shows that the texts weren't tempered with, but still does not show proof that it is Pyrocynical. Thing with the girlfriend is fucking stupid because she could have asked Pyro if, if it was real or not, and not just victim blame her or him as he. what Pyro Cynical's girlfriend did is fucking stupid and a good luck for him, but still doesn't completely confirm Pyro Cynical is guilty. And even if it is actually Pyro, there is no screenshot of Ivory talking about his actual age and just uses Do Trust Me as his source. And not is kind of strange to me because if more about Pyrocynical comes right out, which probably will, it probably will, no doubt, then it'll be great. It'll be great if, if it can come out. But I do want Pyro to speak. I mean, the sooner the better, right? The plot thickens, apparently, from what Pyro is saying. Ivory has Ida, his girlfriend, plots for a while, meaning that Ida wouldn't have been able to reach out to Ivory in the first place. So the video of Ida 
and Ivory talking seems to have lost some credibility. Also, Ivory claims to have gotten the Discord logs from the old server from Pyro's girlfriend Ida. But that makes no sense because why would she send that sort of information out? Now, what I find interesting is that Ivory and Neogen are friends. Neogen is well known for making false ag allegations against Laszlo, so thinking that Neogen sent these to Ivory in an attempt to fuck Pyra over is not impossible, and seems like the thing that probably happened knowing Neogen's past actions. I mean, true. This is why the... This is why people who participate in the so-called Me Too movement are not doing a very good job with no proof or evidence to actually show that a certain somebody actually did get assaulted sexually or physically. I mean, that's just, that's, that's the reason why I'm tired of people who may or may not have the actual evidence that money can always buy. I think it's safe to say that Ivory will soon apologize later in the week because So far, so good. I got fake screenshots because from what I watched in a certain YouTube video, the Discord numbers have to be zero, 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 zero. when they are supposedly deleted. I just don't know why Ivory could not actually prepare himself and now I'm seeing more people talking about it And the one that he brought up to nearly everybody is just not showing the reality of proof on my end. And people are questioning, questioning Irie's method of uh, evidence. Evidence that Ivory doesn't really have. And he admitted that he didn't want to feel comfortable showing the messages. Well, that still makes you look very suspicious, Ivory. Either you apologize or you can ruin his career. I think. Ivory has little to no idea at all how to prepare things in life. And I know that coming out 
of you being groomed or sexually assaulted is kind of scary. But if you knew that you were sexually assaulted or groomed, and I think I said this in the last video before, you really should have done it way earlier. I mean, you may have like so-called so evidence, but it's still not adding up. Even he brought that up now from two hours ago. You replied to the random dude saying, just that I stopped by in this, say, this is a complete lie. I literally filmed me unfollowing Ida when recording the DMs, but didn't post it because it was too petty. It wouldn't matter if it's too petty. All you have to do is show it. And now... We have this. Okay, so if I right-click on a user ID from the members list, it gives me this. If I click on the same deleted user from DMs, it gives me a, a different number, 456222. This is the same ID in this image. And if I paste it into here, it, it gives me an account creation date from 2018. I believe Discord does this to deleted accounts in order to protect the identity of people who delete their accounts. That's all. Okay, so if I right click on... That's all indeed. So, you know, why... Why should we believe Ivory if he's gonna mess this whole thing up. I mean, despite the fact that I already checked his, his imagery page, which shows nothing, it, re it really shows nothing. I mean, had he, had Ivory, uh, try to be more, uh, I don't know, well, more mindful of what he's saying, because Like, if you think Pyrus Uncle was actually grooming you, he would have actually come over to your house and groom you. Or something like that. I mean, I don't know if he physically groomed you, but if he did physically groom you, then that would be that. But if he didn't physically groom you, then you're just lying. I don't get people sometimes. And now, we might hear an apology from Ivory soon, because it's not looking good. It really isn't.